Facebook, the most trusted name in... Can't think of anything. Facebook going full crypto, unveiling its new digital currency. Yeah, Facebook's Libra. Facebook's Libra cryptocurrency. Facebook is unveiling its own cryptocurrency. This is clearly a Facebook thing. What's up, everybody? This is another hot take on hot tech. And today I'm talking about Facebook's cryptocurrency. And everybody's calling it Facebook's cryptocurrency. But I'm going to tell you why those two things are not exactly true. And yes, Facebook made the announcement, but the biggest part of the announcement was that they gave it away. We painstakingly removed ourselves from governing this new network because we believe that uh, a public utility such as an internet of value shouldn't be controlled by any company. And they put together this consortium of consortium, consortium to manage and collectively run the currency. It was a very smart move for Facebook to take themselves out of the equation. We're aiming to have 100 organizations involved. Every one of those will have exactly the same weight, exactly the same power and governance um, in the association. So Facebook, Facebook and its power has been put under some pretty severe checks and balances. Which is why I'm assuming they chose the name. Libra is the zodiac sign whose symbol is the scales. I think it's fitting for a company that wants to, that really needs to balance out their image. And what do you do when you want to earn someone's trust? You offer an olive branch, you give them a gift. And of course, because Facebook has all our data, they knew exactly what we wanted, money and they gave us money. Evil, genius. Zuckerberg is the devil. There's a lizard under there. People are savvy to the fact that Facebook's business model is selling your user your user data to marketers. Um, that's how they make their money, by with targeted ads. I work as a creative director. My job is making Facebook and Instagram ads. So yes, I'm one of those guys, my ads have gone to billions of people. Definitely everybody in America has seen my ads, maybe my face, uh, because these are low budget ads. I put myself in the ads, uh, I'm all over the place. You, uh, uh, and I am looking at the data every day. I'm very aware of all the information Facebook has about you. We don't even get it all. Facebook has crazy amounts of data. They've got a profile on you that who knows what they could predict. They crunch the numbers and they're like, oh, this person's probably pregnant. Let's send them some ads about, uh, you know, strollers. Way more than buying habits, voting habits, all sorts of stuff. So one of the questions I saw asked in one of the interviews was, should I assume that you will eventually be taking whatever private information I'm putting on there about my money, about my transactions, about any of those things, and eventually using that to market to me? That's like the most naive thing I've ever heard. Facebook already has all your data. They don't need any more data. They've got all your data. Your data has been a gotten. We've stopped even targeting people ourselves because it's easier to just let Facebook's algorithm figure out exactly who this ad is gonna work on. It's called going broad. Target everybody and let Facebook hone it in. They don't need a cryptocurrency to know exactly how to market to you. Thinking that this is some Trojan horse back way into like more data, no, no, no. They already have all of it. They've got it, it's gone. And that's a big problem, right? This is not a solution to owning your own data. Libra and Calibra are a way for Facebook to keep users on the platform and therefore get more ad revenue from companies that use people like me to create the ads. That's all it is. Removing friction for transactions between the 90 million small businesses that we have on the platform and the 2.7 billion people who use our products every month. That alone will drive more revenues on advertising, which you know is, is you know more than more than enough in our core business. To have one currency that can travel internationally and be used to not only buy things from the 90 million companies that are on Facebook, but remittances. Remittances are a huge, huge, huge business in this country, and Facebook is going to wipe out the remittance business if this currency takes off, because it's going to be free. You now have global payments that are gonna be cost zero. What does that do for everybody else who's charging money for those global payments? 
Right now, you know, you want to send some cash to somebody in another country. It takes a long time, like a week, and it costs a lot of money. It costs money on both ends. So this would be a way for people to send money, remittances, uh, to other countries with zero fees pretty much instantly, which could get a lot of people using the currency. And if a lot of people are using the currency, they're going to be on Facebook. And that is Facebook's play. I think that this is gonna be really great for the crypto community in general. I think this is basically a gateway drug to cryptocurrency. I think people will start to feel comfortable making payments on Facebook using what they think is a cryptocurrency. It's not. Bitcoin's a cryptocurrency. Bitcoin is open, borderless, decentralized, permissionless, censorship resistant, and completely transparent and publicly verifiable. But Facebook can't be any of those things. It's a corporation. It has to abide by all the governing laws. It can't be ever some Wild West, dark web, f you to the government coin. The other thing that makes it not crypto is that it's not a purely digital asset. It's tied to all these other fiat currencies the dollar, the pound, the yen, a bunch of different other ones. And because of that, it's actually more stable than all of them. It's actually kind of awesome. This is really designed from the ground up to be a great medium of exchange, a very high quality form of digital money that you can use for everyday payments and cross-border payments, microtransactions and all kinds of different things. Because that's what Bitcoin has been lacking, a use case besides storing value. You're never gonna sell your Bitcoin because you think, oh, it's volatile, it might go up. Or, oh man, it's gone down. I don't wanna spend it right now because it's not as worth as much as it used to be. Typically, cryptocurrencies are investment vehicles or uh, you know, investment assets rather than being great medium of exchange. So it's actually a great bridge between fiat currency and cryptocurrency. It's gonna get a lot of people's feet wet getting into the crypto world and it could be, it could do great things for Bitcoin and every other coin out there. Just finished, about to upload. If there's any other topics you want me to hit, let me know in the comments. If you want me to shut up, just tell me that too. Comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff.